Hello, SAC fans, and welcome to the latest installment of the SAC Daily Dose. I'm Christian Stryker, and here's your SAC Daily Dose for Monday, August 20th, 2018. Well, fall sports are officially here. With students moving in over the weekend and seasons officially starting next week, the 2018-19 school year is underway. And this week is preseason week here at the SAC office as we announce the 2018 preseason polls and all conference teams for men's and women's soccer and volleyball. We will also be announcing the preseason polls for men's and women's cross country and field hockey. So let's get started with the men's and women's soccer preseason polls and all conference teams. As they were just announced earlier today, voted on by the head coach, the women's soccer head coaches. We'll start with the women's team. Leading the way at number one is Carson Newman. The Eagles are the preseason number two team in the nation, according to the United Soccer Coaches Association, after coming off a phenomenal season last year where they were the runner-up in the NCAA National Championship. Coming in at number two is Queens University of Charlotte. At number three is Wingate, followed by Lenore Ryan at number four, and Tusculum at number five. Catawba earned the number six spot, and Anderson came in at number seven. Lincoln Memorial took the number eight slot. Newberry checked in at number 9, Mars Hill was number 10, and Coker rounded out the poll at number 11. In addition to the preseason coaches poll, the preseason all-conference teams were announced as voted on by the league's media relations directors. I won't go into the uh, full list of teams here as you can read those in the description below. I will say this, the preseason all-conference teams for the women can feature six players from Carson Newman, four from Tusculum, three players from Lenore Ryan, and three players from Lenore, Ryan, Wingate, and Queens, two players from Anderson and Newberry, and a player from Catawba, Coker, and Lincoln Memorial. Congratulations to all of our teams and the preseason all-conference selections, and good luck this season. Moving over to the men who are also announced today, voted on by the head coaches of the uh, men's soccer head coaches. Wingate is the 2018 preseason favorite. The Bulldogs won the SAC tournament in 2017 and advanced to the semifinals of the NCAA Southeast Regional. They're also picked number 18 in the country, according to the United Soccer Coaches Association preseason poll. Following the Bulldogs is Lenore Ryan at number two. Lincoln Memorial and Carson Newman are tied for the number three spot. Queens checks in at number five. Anderson is coming in at number six, followed by Tusculum at number seven. Newberry earned the number eight slot. Coker came in at number nine. And Mars Hill checks in at number 10, with Catawba rounding out the poll at number 11. Preseason all-conference teams feature five players from Carson Newman, four from Lenore Ryan, three players from Wingate and Queens, two players from Tusculum, Coker, and Mars Hill, and a player from Newberry. Once again, congratulations to all of our teams and the preseason all-conference selections, and good luck this season. Fans, be sure to tune in on to Wednesday shows. We'll continue our fall sport preseason announcements. Tuesday, we're going to announce the volleyball poll and all conference teams. And Wednesday, we'll feature the announcement of the cross country poll, uh, men's and women's cross country polls. And Thursday, we'll round things out with our field hockey poll. You're not going to want to miss it. We got a lot of exciting action as well. The seasons get underway here. So, lots of good stuff coming your way. That's going to bring us to everybody's favorite, the famous sports quote. And today, my quote comes from Nelson Mandela. Sport has the power to change the world. It has the power to inspire. It has the power to unite people in a way that little else does. It speaks to youth in a language they understand. Sport can create hope where once there was only despair. It is more powerful than governments in breaking down racial barriers. It laughs in the face of all types of discrimination. Well, that's going to about wrap things up for me here. Don't forget to be sure to check out the links Uh, to the stories we talked about in the description below. Also, be sure to like this video and share it with your friends and family. we got a lot more coming your way in the uh, coming days and weeks as we move back to our three days a week uh, SAC Daily Dose. You'll see those on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so hopefully you tune in and check those out as we got a lot of great stories coming your way. Be sure to join us again for the next installment of the SAC Daily Dose. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.